As you've been hearing from us, uh, Ebola is a serious disease. It's only spread by direct contact with someone who's sick with the virus, and it's only spread through body fluids. The incubation period is 8 to 10 days after exposure, can be as short as 2 days or as long as 21 days. It's a severe disease which has a high case fatality rate, even with the best of care. But there are core, tried and true public health interventions that stop it. Today, we are providing the information that an individual traveling from Liberia has been diagnosed with Ebola in the United States. This individual left Liberia on the 19th of September, arrived in the U.S. on the 20th of September, had no symptoms when departing Liberia or entering this country, but four or five days later, around the 24th of September, began to develop symptoms. On the 26th of September, initially sought care, and Sunday, the 28th of September, was admitted to a hospital in Texas and placed on isolation. Uh, we received in our laboratory today uh, specimens from the individual, tested them, and they tested positive for Ebola. The state of Texas also operates a laboratory that found the same results. The testing for Ebola is highly accurate. It's a PCR test of blood. So what does this mean? The next steps are basically um, threefold. First, to care for the patient and we'll be hearing from the hospital shortly, to provide the most effective care possible, as safely as possible, to keep to an absolute minimum the likelihood, the possibility that anyone would become infected, and second, to maximize the chances that the patient might recover. Second, we identify all people who may have had contact with the patient while he could have been infectious, and remember, Ebola does not spread from someone who's not infectious. It does not spread from someone who doesn't have fever and other symptoms. So it's only someone who's sick with Ebola who can spread the disease. Once those contacts are all identified, they are all monitored for 21 days after exposure to see if they develop fever. If they develop fever, then those same uh, criteria are used to isolate them and make sure that they are cared for as well as possible so that they maximize their chances and to minimize or eliminate the chance that they would infect other people. The bottom line here is that I have no doubt that we will control this importation or this case of Ebola so that it does not spread widely in this country. It is certainly possible that someone who had contact with this individual, a family member or other individual, could develop Ebola in the coming weeks. But there is no doubt in my mind that we will stop it here. It does reflect the ongoing spread of Ebola in Liberia and West Africa, where there are large numbers of cases. And while we do not currently know how this individual became infected, uh, they undoubtedly had close contact with someone who was sick with Ebola or who had died from it. In West Africa, we are surging the response, not only of CDC, where we already have more than 130 people in the field, but also throughout the U.S. government. Uh, the president has leaned forward to make sure that we're acting very proactively there, and the Defense Department is on the ground already strengthening the response. We're working with USAID and other parts of the U.S. government, as well as with a broad global coalition to confront the epidemic there. But ultimately, we are all connected by the air we breathe, and we are invested in ensuring that the disease is controlled in Africa but also in ensuring that where there are patients in this country who become ill, they're immediately isolated, and we do the tried and true core public health interventions that stop the spread of Ebola. Don't forget to follow Titude1009.com on Facebook and Twitter. 
and YouTube, and Daniel Emotion and stumble upon. Please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.